students welcome to the online class and today we will see the explanation of lesson number one a letter to god very interesting chapter very interesting lesson written by g l fuentes so before we go into the explanation let me describe let me explain you the characters who are the main characters of this story lencho who is a farmer he is the main protagonist of this lesson apart from lencho we have a postman we have a postmaster in this lesson now see the theme of this lesson this lesson teaches us three things or it deals with three theme what are they or which are they the first is lencho's firm and unshakable faith upon god the lesson expresses or describes how lencho trusted god blindly he had a very firm and unshakable faith upon god his faith did not depend on any logic any circumstance any situation but his faith was dependent on god the second theme is about the innocence of lencho lencho was indeed very innocent type of person this lesson proves the saying do what we can with what we have then surely god will help us thirdly this lesson gives a message that sometimes our act of generosity is not recognized we will not get any credit for our act of generosity or kindness now these are the theme or these are the main points of this lesson now see the context of this lesson lencho who is a farmer as we all know that a farmer or a farmer's family completely depend on the agriculture their family needs their expenses their survival largely depend on their crops or agriculture lencho he lived on the top of a hill where he had his fields completely prepared completely prepared that means he plowed the field he had sown seeds in them now what else he is waiting for the rain so that he could have plenty of harvest this year now he is expecting rain once he was taking lunch during the time of their meal he felt or he realized that outside it started raining so he went out into the rain and he looked to the sky and he saw the big water droplets falling down from the sky he was very happy to receive the rain he felt as if the water droplets are like silver coins falling from the sky now here the silver coins are compared with the water droplets it is symbolical until unless the water or the rain is poured from the sky the crops are not going to grow up the crops are not going to be germinated until unless it receives water it receives rain therefore the water droplets are compared to the silver coins now this is the expectation of lencho that this year he will have the plenty of harvest now he was so happy he was very much delighted to receive the rain to get the rain now what happens 
Immediately the wind blew, and along with, with the wind, along with the wind, there came hailstones. Now, as we know, hailstones are very harmful for the crops. They would destroy the crops. Now, within a short period of time, his field, his crops were completely destroyed. He could see a layer of snow all over the field, all over the ground, all over the area which he could see. They were all covered with snow. Now looking at this site of hailstone and destroyed crops, he became very downhearted. He became very unhappy. He became very sad. Why? It's because he lost all his hope. It's because he dis his crops were destroyed. So he was very downhearted. He was very sad. And he began to think about his family. What would happen to his family. How they are going to survive. Because crops are completely destroyed. Sancho could not understand what to do. He was frustrated. He was downhearted. He was very sad. And when he was sitting depressed. Immediately a line of thought comes into his mind. Why can't he seek help from God? So he thought to write a letter to God. In this way, he began to write the letter. He described, he mentioned all the things that happened to his crops, how he expected rain, how the hailstones destroyed the crops entirely and all his family situation, that how they will survive, what will they eat, how their needs are going to be fulfilled, all things he wrote in that letter. And at the last, he made a request, he made a demand of 100 pesos. Now, it is for the compensation of the destroyed crop. He is demanding 100 pesos from God. He calculated the money that he would need 100 pesos to sow the seeds in the field again. So, he wrote down that God I need 100 pesos to sow the seeds again in the field. In this way, he completes the letter and he took the letter and posted it in the address to the God. It shows Lencho's faith upon God. His faith was not dependent on any logic, any circumstance, any situation. But he wrote letter and posted expecting that definitely God would answer him and send him the money that he had demanded. This is about Lancho's unshakable faith upon God. Now, he waited for the answer. He waited for the money. Afterwards, when Lencho posted the letter, one of the postmen, he took a notice on the letter which was addressed to God. For him, this was mere foolishness. He could have never seen an envelope, a letter addressed to God. So that's the reason he was also surprised. And he took this letter and showed it to the postmaster. And they broke into laughter. 
soon after that the postmaster he was able to understand the importance and the significance of lencho's letter which he had written to god moreover he was able to understand the critical condition of lencho's family now for others it may be a foolishness it may be strange for others but what about lencho for lencho it was not a foolishness for lencho it was not a strange thing for lencho it was the symbol it was the representation of his faith upon god now the postmaster was able to understand how profound and deep faith that lencho had on god he understood how firm and unshakable faith that lencho had on god now he was thinking what if what if lencho would not get any reply what if lencho would not get any help from god so he was thinking how to respond if he will not reply then lencho's faith will be broken by any mean postmaster did not want lencho's faith to be broken so finally he thought to respond to the letter he decided to help lencho now how to do it it's not alone in his strength to help lencho so he called all the post office employees and he told them the matter that this is the matter a person named lencho he wrote letter to god expecting 100 pesos and it's all about his faith and he did not want his faith to be broken and he did not want his faith to be shaken from god or else lencho would not be able to trust god any more postmaster as he told about lencho's letter and need to the employees all of them they agreed to donate financially in order to help lencho all the post office employees they collected money they saved some part of their salary and collected it in order to give it to lencho so the money was collected from all the employees of the post office now when they counted the money it was 70 pesos the money was arranged it was put in an envelope and given to lencho in this way the postmaster he helped on the behalf of god he given the address in that envelope that this envelope or this help is from god he did not let lencho know that this is the help done by any human this is the help which is done by the post office employees instead of that he want lencho to know that this is the reward of his faith this letter this help is indeed from god so that is why he given the address from god now after that what happens lencho received the envelope which contained the money he was not surprised he was not shocked not at all because he knew that god will surely help him so he was not shocked to receive the money he opened the seal he opened the envelope he counted the money he was very happy while receiving the money 
But as soon as he counted the money, he was very angry. Now why he was angry? Because the money was 70 pesos. When he counted the money, the total amount was 70 pesos. Then, immediately, he again wrote a second letter to God and posted it at that same time. Now the postmaster, he took that envelope, opened it eagerly in order to see what Lencho had returned. He expected that Lencho would be thankful to God. Now what Lencho had returned? Lencho wrote like that, God, I have received. The postmaster who eagerly opened the envelope, the letter of Lencho, the second letter of Lencho, he expected that he would be thankful to God. Lencho would be thankful to God for the help, for the money. But what happens when he read that Lencho is now requesting about the remaining amount of money? And he wrote like that, God, I have received 70 pesos. You could have sent 100 pesos. But meanwhile, the post office employees would have taken 30 pesos. So I received 70 pesos. Now, kindly send me the remaining amount of money, 30 pesos, but not by mail. Since the post office employees are a bunch of crooks. This is how Lencho's innocence is described in this lesson. This is how Lencho's faith is rewarded. It is rewarded by human being or postmaster or employees of the post office. But finally, Lencho's faith is rewarded.